Hi, welcome back. This is Excel Video 52. We're uh, continuing our look at conditional formatting. If you've watched the prior videos, you know that we have been through the conditional formatting rules and have done a bunch of examples on each of these. And we talked about, hey, there's more rules down at the bottom and some customization kind of things that you can do in this screen. And what I want to do is walk through an example of format all cells based on their values and show how some of this customization may help you. What I have here is for my six physicians, annual collections for 2006, 7, and 8. And through an astonishing coincidence, they're the very same collections dollar amount for all three years. And the reason I did that is I want to show you how you may tweak conditional formatting and these color scales to better reflect what your data is doing. What I did for the first set, if you go to Manage Rules, it will show you what I have. And I have a graded color scale where the lowest value is red and the highest value is green and that all looks like what we've done in the past what we're going to do let's okay is do a similar thing in 2007 but let's say that when I go to conditional format I'm going to do a new rule here and I'm going to pick a three color scale going from red to green and everything's the very same the only thing I'm going to change look at this midpoint what what Excel defaults to is the minimum is the lowest value the maximum is the highest value and I'm going to go to the 50th percentile, and that's where I'm going to do yellow. And anything between the lowest and the 50th percentile, I'm going to do some kind of orange color. Anything between the percentile and the, the 50th percentile and the highest value, I'm going to do some kind of yellow green kind of color. But you can change this. I'm going to change this to 20 and click OK. And then what I'm going to do is do the very same thing, do a new rule, do a three color scale, leave everything exactly the same. The only thing I'm going to change is make that 80. And now if you look, I've got the very same data in 2006, 7, and 8. But what what I've done is I've moved where the yellow is and where the, the orange and the yellow green are. Remember in 2007 what we've got going here is the, we're all, the 20th percentile is yellow. So um, if you look in and, and over in 2008 the 80th percentile is yellow. What that means is if my data is skewed one way or the other, if I've got mostly low numbers or mostly high numbers, I can play with where I want that midpoint to be. And um, a cell that was green under the 50th percentile is still green here because it's at the 20th, it's a long way. But at the eight, when the 80th percentile is yellow on this one, you know, boy, we're still really yellow because you know, we're, we've still got, uh, we're the 80th percentile is where the midpoint is, and 705,000 is about the 80th percentile, which means that most of my low numbers stay orange because I'm between um, the 0 and 80th percentile, so I'm going to be between red and yellow and, and form most of these orange, whereas if my midpoint is at the 20th percentile, why that, you know, all these are going to stay yellow because even though they're low, I'm looking to format just the really low ones in red and everything else is going to be yellow again because of the way the conditional formatting is set up with the, with the percentile of 20. There are, a, there are a lot of different ways you can do this. You can put a specific number here or a specific number for the midpoint or a specific number for the maximum. You can do percent if your data is uh, pretty much evenly distributed. If you want to do percentile because your data is skewed one way or the other, you can do percentile, and you can do a formula. We'll, we'll come back to the formula in a later video. But at the end of the day, what you can do is on these color scales, you can change where the midpoint is based on a number or a percentile or a formula. If your data is skewed, you can easily make change it from 50 to 20 to 80 and change where the yellow conditional formatting comes to better reflect the skew that's in your data. If most of your data is really high and you don't want to focus on that, what you really want to capture is the low stuff, you can format it one way or the, or you can do just the reverse. All of that from this edit rule description area and formatting cells based on their values. Stay tuned next time we're going to do an example on format only cells that contain. Thanks for watching.